Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you how to add rounded corners to your footage while still being able to edit it in the timeline. Okay, so in another video, I showed you how to add rounded edges to your video using the Essential Graphics panel. And this is a good method because you have access to all of these controls over here. But there is one big drawback and a lot of you have been asking me how to work around it. And that is once you add a video to a graphic, it doesn't behave like a normal clip in the timeline anymore. So for example, if I wanted to make a cut at this point here, it will actually reset this clip back to the very start of the video. As well as this, you can't adjust the speed of the clip. You'll notice that speed is grayed out here. And also graphics clips don't have audio. So when I drag the video into this graphics clip, I automatically lost the audio that was linked to it. So the way around this is rather than adding the rounded corners in the essential graphics panel is to do it with an opacity mask. So what I'll do is I'll select my clip in the timeline. I'll go up to my effect controls and under opacity, I'm going to click four point polygon mask. And then I'll just want to scale this up a bit. So I'll just move my cursor to one of the corners, hold down shift, and then I'll click and drag out to scale this up. I might also adjust the width of this polygon. So I'm just gonna click and drag over two points and then click to drag across. Now you'll notice when I drag across, I'm not dragging straight, but if I hold down shift, it's going to constrain the direction that I'm dragging in. And then I'll do the same thing for the other side. But the real trick to adding rounded corners to this video is to go over to my mask and I wanna turn up mask expansion. And as I do that, you can see it's adding those rounded corners for us. And you'll notice that the edges are a little feathered here. That's because our mask feather is set to 10. You could actually turn that up and it adds a little bit more of a vintage look or turn it all the way down to have a sharp edge. But that's basically it. And now if I go back to my timeline, I'm working with the original clip. So if I want to go and make a cut here, it's not going to reset the clip back to the start. I have my speed controls as well. And I have all the original audio from the clip. And that's how you add rounded corners to a clip while still making it editable in your timeline. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.